card using some beautiful Anna Griffin paper and some of her die cut topper things and I think they've got a special name but I'm not quite sure what they are and I've got a punch and some ribbon so we're all going all Anna Griffin here okay I've got a piece of card here cream cardstock that's also Anna Griffin and it is 10 inches here by five inches here and I have scored it at two and a half inches here and two and a half inches both in from each end and then you fold it down and then you get a five inch card by a seven inch card okay so the first thing I want to do is put a piece of this gorgeous green card and I want to put some of that down the back piece here okay so I've already cut it and I just all I did was I just made a pencil mark and I just cut down with my craft knife just to get the right width and then I'm going to stick that down and we'll cut it to length okay so the next thing that I want to do is I want to put some of this gorgeous pink on the inside so with this we don't need to particularly cut it to size so I'm just going to put my adhesive on here and stick down my pink and I take my pink piece of paper and again doing exactly the same thing again just a marginal amount of overlap So you minimise the loss on the side that really isn't going to be able to do anything with. And then just stick that down, like so, and then smooth it out. Flipping this over and cutting away the excess. That's all three sides done on the inside. And then we're going to work on the front. So taking this front piece, first of all I am going to put my coloured cardstock on the front two pieces. So again, using the same procedure as the inside, we're going to cover these two sides only. I don't need to do the back. So here's my card fronts all covered. And I actually changed my mind and decided to cover the back as well. For two reasons. One, I just think it looks nicer. It's just finished. The other thing was that... With the extra weight on these flaps, and there's more to come, it really needed that extra piece of strength on the back there. So that was the reasons. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do is to punch some tabs in the front here. Now I don't know if this is going to work with this punch because I think it's going to be asking quite a lot for it to go through three pieces of cardstock. So I'm just going to test it first on some scraps that I've got and see if that's going to work. Okay, that seemed to work. So I've marked a centre point of three and a half, which I need to put that way so I can see it. And then I'm going to line that point up as best as I can, like so. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put some weight into this. So obviously I need to cut down straight now, but at least has gone through. So let's then do this one. Hopefully that will line up, which it does. So then... We just need to take my craft knife and cut down this line here. So the way I'm going to do that is line that edge up with the dark black line, making sure my bottom edge is straight, and then popping my ruler both ends on the black line and cutting through. So as you can see, that's all cut through, so we'll use that to put some ribbon through later I may well need to make the holes a bit bigger and now we're going to get on to decorating. Okay so I've taken our die cut and I've stuck it on some of this gorgeous pink paper and I've just done a rough cut all the way around the edge to make like a shadow and this just gives it a little bit of pop off the green so I'm now going to just stick this down onto my green paper Oops. and I want to leave a space at the bottom for my sentiment Okay, so that's that stuck down. I think that looks really cute. So then the only other thing we've got to do is I've got these two, not the only other thing, the only other thing I've got to stick down is I've got these little twirly pieces here and I want to decide whether I want them here or here. And I think I'm going to have them on the inside because I want to put my ribbon and make a sort of feature of my bow on the outside. So I'm just going to use my zig pen okay and I'm going to pop that in position and stick it down 
There we go. And that just adds just a little detail on there. Okay. So that's those two pieces stuck down. So now we just need to do the ribbon. Okay, so we're going to put our sentiment on. And I've got a sentiment from this Paper Tray Ink Healing Touch Sentiments. And it says, as you rest and heal, know that we have you in our thoughts and are praying for a quick recovery. So I thought that's a nice sentiment. I've got this on my rocker block and I'm using Memento Ink Bamboo Leaves, which is a lovely, lovely green, sort of an olivey green, bamboo leaf green. So we'll just ink that up. Pop that down like so. Okay, I just need to put my ribbon through and do my bow foot on the front cover here. I don't want anything much on the front, just the ribbon. So I'm just going to grab this gorgeous silk pink ribbon. Uh, an embossing tool to help poke that through. And then obviously going down from this side and up through this side. You don't want anything sharp because you'll rip your ribbon and or your Hard. Okay, so we need to probably pull that back a little bit. We don't need quite that much. Okay, so then we just need to snip our ribbon. And then I just want to cut these both at an angle before I cut it. Before I bow it, I'll do the same this side. This one we need to because where I poked it through. There we go. And then we're just going to do So here's the outside of our finished card and I really hope you've enjoyed watching this with me and making this with me and I'll see you all again soon. Bye! Thank you.